twists your legs. You're getting tired of people calling you no leg, bro. <laughs> this is where it's at. You're gonna have to learn how to do a back squat sooner or later. There's different variations of it, but we're gonna stick to the back squat today. And uh, you know, the back squat is a very powerful movement. Once you get the biomechanics properly uh, down, right? So other than that, I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna break it down in simple steps. Three to four sets. And what I want you to do is incorporate this into your training routine, okay? Keep in mind, if you're following your routine for me, you better be doing those squats, you know what I'm saying? Because, man, you can't be skipping leg day, you hear me? But other than that, let's get the show on the road. Hey everyone, I just want to mention that when you're doing squats, you can do different type of squats using different types of equipment. In this case, I'm at the gym, I'm going to be using a barbell. It weighs 45 pounds. So using that 45 pound barbell, I'm going to warm up, I'm going to pump blood into my, my bones, into my muscles, get the blood flowing, you know, lubricate the joints so that I can start incrementing weight and I can start taxing my muscles. Keep in mind, the legs are responsible for so much testosterone and so much more, you know, so for you athletes out there, for people, or if you're one of those that has no legs and your friends are clowning on you, man, for you, women, if you want to get your legs right and tight, you want to get your boy to start staring at you a little more, you know what I mean? This is where it's at. Stick to the squat. It's a very powerful movement. Not only does it tax your lower body, but it also targets the core. So keep in mind, you don't want to miss out. Let me go ahead and show you what a warm-up looks like using just a barbell. Remember, like I said, you can use any other equipment, but in this case, we're using the barbell, okay? What you want to do is you want to come feet shoulder width apart, get under it, Ugh. dancing. What's up, bro? Some of you may point your toes in, some of you may point your toes out. Keep them parallel. Look straight ahead, keep your chest up. Start squatting. Now that I warmed up, I'm going to start adding a little bit of weight on there. I'm not the strongest, I'm not the fastest, but I can tell you that I will build massive legs if I train, I eat, and I sleep. You hear me? Your form has to be, it has to be down, man. You 
you want to just start slapping the weight on there and you you provoke an injury, you know, now you got a torn hip. You know what I mean? Your flexor's out. Now you have to wait a month, even more, you know what I mean? Just to recuperate, just to heal. So, you know, just take it light, take it slow. For me, I'm, I'm adding weight, and I'm gonna take a little more, and I'm gonna just have fun with it. Honestly, I don't need uh, so many sets before I start feeling my legs pump up with blood, you hear me? Nice and juicy. So what I'm gonna do is keep it at a bare minimum. I'm gonna add a little more weight, and then I'm gonna set it out, rip it out, you hear me? You know what I mean? With proper form, you can ensure that you get a really good quality workout, you hear me? Remember, basic, powerful, lower body workout, squat. I hope you learned something from my squat tips. And keep in mind, if you don't start somewhere, you'll never be anywhere. See you in the next one. Peace.